So these are the Howard University Air Jordan 6s and they're also $6,500. Now these came out a few months ago. Well, not really came out, but they were given to the friends and family and the players and student staff of the Howard University. Now I've only had these in my collection for a couple weeks now, but I can say I've been loving them so far. I actually ended up doing a trade to get these in my collection, which we'll talk about a little bit later in the video. Shout out to Soul Steels. And just like other Air Jordan PEs, there are some incredible details on this shoe. But then I had to take a step back and realize this shoe is like an endangered species. Now Air Jordan PEs are already a rare breed to start with and I've shown you guys many of different college PEs, player editions for NBA and NFL athletes, and even samples created for different artists like DJ Khaled, Travis Scott, you name it. But the Air Jordan 6 in particular doesn't really get that many PEs when it comes to the sample game. So that means there's a small fraction of people that actually truly appreciate a sneaker like this. And I know everybody doesn't love Air Jordan 6s, which is fine by me, there's nothing wrong with that, but it does make me kind of worried and with all the hype on social media behind air jordan ones and nike dunks and air jordan fours that means there's less hype and demand for the air jordan six which means what less production or does it now hear me out hear me out remember about 15 years ago when all the jordan sixes were coming out you had the piston sixes you had the oreo sixes you had the bread sixes also known as the varsity reds you had the infrared pack you had a bunch of different sixes coming out during this time and everybody was loving it or at least i was and for me i was buying all of them and during that time it basically felt like jordan brand was giving me everything that i needed and more so that brings me to ask the question, what can Jordan Brand do now in current time? And the only answer I can think of, give the people what they want. I need it! Jordan Brand has always been a master at building up hype around sneakers, samples, and PEs that people just can't get their hands on, and then give us another version of the sneaker that looks similar to it, but not the same. And then next thing you know, you're saying, I'll take what I can get. For example, everyone loves the purple Travis 4s, so we got the Canyon Purples, or the Mocha Travis 4s, and we got the Taupe Hazes, or the red DJ Khaled's, and we got the red cements. Which honestly, the red cements might be a little bit better than the DJ Khaled's, but that's a whole nother conversation. But either way, I could go down a huge list of a bunch of different samples and PEs that Jordan Banner has created, and then different versions that they gave to the public for fives, fours, you name it, a bunch of different models and different colors. But like I always talk about when it comes to sneakers like this, styles, cuts, material, presentation, everything is always gonna be A1. And this is something that you just don't get often when it comes to general release sneakers because they typically have to cut back on materials and different things like that. And that's another reason why these are actually one of my favorite sneaker pickups of this year so far. So let's go ahead and get into the history and break down all the details of this sneaker and make sure you guys stick around to the end of the video because I'm gonna be giving away some free shoes and you can enter to win. So for those that don't know, Howard University is an HBCU that was founded in 1867. This is a university that has a rich heritage and an amazing set of individuals that have graduated from here to then go on and make a huge impact in our society each and every day throughout the years. Now recently in the past year, Jordan Brand decided to collaborate with the school and become one of the sponsored schools for their student athletes. Just like we have seen with other schools and PEs like Florida Gators, University of Michigan, North Carolina, the list goes on, we finally have an HBCU represented in the College Jordan PEs. And that's another reason why I'm so excited to show you guys all the details on these in particular because they're a lot different than the other College 6 PEs that we saw over the past year, which will break down all the similarities and differences a little bit later in the video. And this is something that also gets me really excited to see what other PEs they come with for the future releases as well when it comes to Howard 
University. So like I said earlier, we saw the student athletes get these pairs when it comes to the Jordan 6s, and they say roughly there's around 200 to 250 pairs in circulation throughout all the players, staff, and everything like that. So now that you guys know a little bit more about the sneakers history and how it came about, let's go ahead and start breaking down all the details because these things are crazy. Looking at the bottom of the shoe, you got your classic Air Jordan 6 outsole, all navy right here, and then instead of the translucent pods, you got that milky sail colored pod on the back and the front end, and then you got more of that red burgundy color in the center with the Jumpman right there. Now going up to the midsole, you got the same thing. You got a flatter navy colored paint on the midsole, and then you got your deeper red colors on the top and bottom end right here on the front and back of the foot. Now looking at the upper, these things are covered in a premium gray suede, and I love the materials on this shoe. I think Jordan Brand did a great job when it comes to the execution and decision on materials. Now like I said earlier, all the other Jordan sixes from the college PE pack which I've shown you guys plenty of reviews on the channel if you haven't seen them before I have them linked for you guys and you guys can go check them out but basically as you can see on here you got that cracked leather all throughout the upper completely different switch up when it comes to the overall material and then the color blocking is gonna be a little bit different but kind of similar but as you can see like I said the color on the upper right here is matching with the upper and then this has like a contrasting color with the navy on the inside and then the different types of tongues and all the different stuff but overall material wise two completely different materials but they came out around the same time in the college six series pack now originally we saw all the college six series that we had already had known of you know oklahoma marquette michigan different stuff like that and then just shortly after that they came with these right here right on time so in my guess they were designing this pack they ended up signing with howard and they decided to do a different special collaboration with them because it was their first time being a part of the jordan brand family so i could see why they gave them a different twist on this shoe which again is another reason why this shoe is just a little bit more special than the other ones. Now looking at the top of the toe right here, you have that embroidering right there in the gray stitch as well. And then going to the tongue, you have your standard navy laces and the navy mesh just behind that. And then you have your red triangles on the front end right here and the same color matching with the HU stitched inside of there. And then another dope touch that I really love, the gold accents. You got the gold lace lock right here with the red jump man. And then you have the hang tag also gold, giving those kind of DMP6 vibes, but I'm not mad at it either way. I remember this, I just think about all the eras of the early 2000s. On here it says Air Jordan 6, June 12th, 1991, defining moment, Air Jordan's first, pro oh shoot. This says, actually, <laughs> it's like a DMP tag that's on here. So like I was just talking about, like the DMP tag, it's actually like very similar. It says all the same information about Jordan's defining moment with the Jordan 6 is winning his first championship. So that's actually, actually kind of crazy. And then on the back side, it's got the Jumpman right there. This is in the plastic. And then just behind that, you got your Navy rubber tongue with your Jordan 6 branding on there. And then like I talked about earlier, Navy on the sock liner, Navy on the pull tab, and then the red hit right there. Now, there's a crazy detail on the inside of the shoe. We'll get to that in a second, but we got to talk about the heel. You got the Howard University branding right there, the gold stitch with the gold stars and the HU right there, and then you have the 1867 representing them. And then I'm pretty sure that's the bison right there as well in the middle of that when it comes to the image, and that's their school mascot. Now, this is a detail that is so clean. Stuff that I love talking about. Remember I said samples, PEs, different stuff like that. They always take it to the next level and give us those crazy details. And speaking of that, if I look at this one, remember I was talking about how it's a little bit different. So this is the Florida Gator Air Jordan 6. And I've shown you guys in the other ones. I think the UNC one, that one actually had a different print on it. But let me see if I can get this out without untying the whole shoe. But on this one in particular, you've kind of got like it's like, it's like a leather type of vibe to it. It's like the all orange and it's got the Nike Air right there. I, I don't remember, I think the other foot has the Gator logo. If not, it might be Nike, I don't remember. I did a review, did I do a review on these yet? I might not have done a review. I think I might need to shoot that. But either way, that's what that looks like, right? And all of them look like that. But you look at this one, you got the leather with the diamond stitch all throughout, as you can see, stitch all the way through. And then you got the white jump man right here. Really, really clean. Like I said, details. This gives you another premium hit, another dope vibe when it comes to this shoe. And then on the other foot, you have the Jumpman as well on there. But again, 
I just love to see these things when I see shoes like this. So let me know what you guys think when it comes to those small details like that on every shoe. To me, that's always something that takes it to the next level. Now, like I said earlier in the video, shout out to Soul Stills because they helped me get this shoe for my collection. I was so excited when I was offered the opportunity to work a trade and I ended up trading multiple pairs of shoes for these in particular. We did the trade a couple weeks ago, and if you guys haven't heard of Soul Stills, I've been buying sneakers from them and trading with them for many a years now. They're a sneaker subscription service based on giving you guys good deals on sneakers, so if you guys haven't heard of them and want to check them out, hit the link down below in the description. I have all their information for them. Soul Stills is a great spot. I appreciate you guys so much for helping me get these because y'all know I love me some sixes, I love me some PEs, and I was excited to work this trade. So definitely a really dope pickup in addition to my collection and honestly my favorite pickup of 2023 so far i know there's a lot more stuff coming out and i got plenty of shoes that i got on my hit list but as of right now the way this shoe has been put together and how i got it through the trade and everything i just love these so much and i couldn't wait to show you guys this review and speaking of that i actually ended up getting something to go along with that let me get it for you guys for a second i also got the howard university air jordan ones I got these like a week after I got these, I was like, I gotta get the one. So I ended up actually copping these a week later. I'll make a video about this as well for you guys, but I was able to complete the set. I know there's actually some fours that was given away to some of the celebrities and stuff. So we'll talk about that in another video, but either way, very, very exciting pickup. Now let's talk about how you guys can win some free shoes. So what you're gonna do from here is click on the link down below in the description or the one pinned in the comment section, sign up and I will send you guys an email with a 50% off discount code after you get to that landing page. From there, that'll give you guys access to the community for a lifetime with 50% off. And that will allow you to get in all the challenges that we have every month where I give away a free pair of shoes. We have live stream meetups, community get togethers, and a bunch of different stuff with the chat rooms and help groups to help you guys out as well. And all you need to do from there is hit the accept button on the favorite sneaker of the year challenge, and then give us a quick image and a story about why that sneaker was your favorite pickup. And then I'll be selecting a random winner at the end of this month. And also make sure you guys use that discount code this month because I will be be deleting it at the end of the month as well we got a bunch more reviews to shoot and if you guys haven't seen my pe playlist i'll link that for you guys at the end of the video as well that way you guys can go in and see a bunch of more samples and pe's that you may have never seen before or a sneaker that you may need to see a clear in-depth look at as well i would never let you down and send my dna hey, hey, the hey, only choice i like to make what i'm aware it's today one of those. One i would never let you down and send my dna the only choice i like to make what i'm aware today I was made for it, it's in the DNA.